Now, Philadelphus is a plant that flowers on the previous season's growth. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, a Forsythia or a Wigelia. And what you've got to do if you've got a plant that flowers on the previous season's growth is to remove a third of the oldest wood. If they flower on the end of this season's growth, then you know you're safe to cut them down in the spring and then they'll come up again and they'll still flower. You won't destroy the flower buds. <clears throat> but in this case, as you can see, it's quite overgrown. There's quite a lot of um, you know, spindly growth low down, uh, which is going to have to be dealt with. So the first thing I'm going to do is to stand back, have a look at the plant, try and read the plant. And uh, I can see there's a lot of growth to the right. There's a lot of spindly material around the base. And I need to get rid of that first before I can really get a good look to see how to prune it properly. So let's start by removing some of the spindly growth, get that out of the way, and then we'll be able to see a little bit more clearly. So I'm just using some Falco secateurs and we'll just gradually cut away uh, we need to be right at the base of the plant and I've just used my loppers there to cut away one of the shoots which is an oldier woodier shoot. You can tell which they are by looking at the colour of the wood. Uh, if it's more lignified and grey and ashen, it, it, you know, it's an older one. But if it's got a nice quite uh, bright colour, uh, a yellow and orange or something like that, you, you, you know, usually... Uh, it's it's a younger piece of growth. Inside of this plant, you can see it's still quite top heavy. I've removed a lot of the spindly growth around the base, so we can now get the shape of the tree. But there is quite a lot of material to remove to the far right. And there's one or two older shoots that are still in the middle, which are broken off, not good shoots, and they need to be cut away as well. material on the right. Now unfortunately it's too big for secateurs and loppers so I've just got a, uh, a pruning saw, just a Grecian saw and because it's sort of bigger than uh, about a half inch to an inch thick I'm actually cutting at an angle just to remove one or two of these woody sort of stems at the back. the shape that I want you can see it's quite even I have thinned it out quite a bit um, you can't overdo it because obviously you're not going to be left with anything so you want to use your discretion and now all I've got to do is to find any broken branches any dead branches or spindly branches again and remove a few of those I'm not going to do a lot of work to the top of the plant because if I start cutting across the top and reducing the height it'll lollipop and we'll get lots of proliferation of shoots and it's not usually a good thing for the plant to prune it that way. Um, so thinning out is the, the best way, removing a third of the oldest wood and then you've opened it up, plenty of air circulation into the plant.